Hello, I'm Councillor Annie Morrell, the Deputy Mayor for the London Borough of Sutton, and I am also the Dementia Champion and a member of the DAA Committee. September 2020 is World Alzheimer's Month, and here, is, here in Sutton we are supporting the campaign. We want to help raise awareness of the disease dementia and get people talking about it. Every three seconds someone in the world develops dementia. Today, almost 50 million people worldwide are living with dementia. The number is predicted to triple, rising to 152 million by 2050. When we say dementia, it covers lots of different conditions that can affect the brain as we get older. The most common symptoms are memory loss and confusion, which makes it more difficult to look after yourself. Sutton is one of two local authorities in London to have an Admiral Nurse service team. Admiral Nurses are specialist dementia nurses who care for people with dementia and their families. They provide one-to-one -one support, guidance and practical solutions to help patients to live in their homes for longer, retaining comfort and independence in their lives. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Sutton team of Admiral Nurses for their support, care and understanding. They have shown to over 270 families in Sutton last year and continue to do so this year in even more challenging times. So, this September is World Alzheimer's Month. Where do we go from here? Where the main theme is Let's talk about dementia. Thank you again for your support. I was very lucky and fortunate to meet this girl called Kathleen. She was quite unique. The first sign that I discovered that they may have a problem was that she was repeating the same question. They informed us that she has early stage of Alzheimer's. A word that I never heard in my life, I had no idea what it was. To navigate through a complicated system with no experience at all in the past was a real serious, difficult challenge. I became aware of a group of people called Admiral Nurses. So I got in touch with this group and the person who responded to my inquiry was called Vincent. He's got a heart of gold. He's kind, his, his concern wasn't just about my wife, his concern was about my children, about me, and even about my dog. Everything associated with Kathleen, anything which could be an element in helping to make Kathleen's life that much more tolerable. First and foremost, it was the matter of the actual caring, day-to-day -day caring for Kath. The second problem that he was became aware of was the financial aspect of the care. It's a massive burden on, on, on any family. Vincent opened up a few avenues which were, were completely unaware that were, were officially entitled to certain level of support. Because I was also acting as a carer, I didn't realize that my well-being both physically and mentally was also necessary to provide that care for Kath. And that's where Vincent played a very, very important part because not only she helped me to take the right route for helping my wife, but also showed me how I can look after myself that much better. 